Hey everyone. Well, this video didn't exactly go the way I was planning it to go. Um, I did have one sleeve already made um, before doing this. Um, I was attempting just to get a second made um, and it failed. Uh, ran into a bunch of problems with the machining, overshot dimension, trying to chase chatter out of it. And uh, yeah, had several other issues uh, along the way. So we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna do this for the fourth time. Um, first time was just playing practice with the lathe. Second time, did it nicely. Third time, which was the one you're gonna see some video of, uh, was a fail. But uh, I'll show it, why not? I kept going and just kept machining out the bore to chase the chatter. Um, I think I eventually figured it out. I dropped the uh, spindle RPM and increased the feed rate a bit and uh, made some other adjustments on the boring bar. Um, but I was able to get that chatter out of there uh, for the most part and get a fairly acceptable surface finish. Um, so I'm gonna do this again for the fourth time and hopefully not waste my time anymore. Uh, and then we'll keep going. All right, everyone, I uh, managed to find some free time in the shop today. Uh, I've been working a pretty hectic schedule. But uh, today I'm going to take one of these old uh, rusty crusty bolts and we're going to machine a sleeve for our wheel motors. This still needs to get a keyway broached into it. And then my plan is I'm going to make a face plate that has the uh, four on four bolt pattern for the drive tire. And that's going to shoulder onto this sleeve, get welded, and, uh, and a through bolt will hold it all on. And that's going to be the, uh, the drive for the mini snowcat. So... Let's get making a, a sleeve today. So at this point, I'd like to say I'm not a machinist. Uh, I'm not going to do everything right. Um, it's an interest of mine. I like to try and learn how to do everything. Um, I, I just ex excited in expanding my shop. So uh, I'm learning as I go. Um, I think I understand a bit of the fundamentals, but we'll see. Um, so just enjoy.
All right, let's get this uh, cleaned up and uh, we'll chuck in that new part there. Now I'm just getting the uh, piece of stock tapped into alignment here. Um, I do have a four jaw chuck that uh, I need to kind of de-rust and take apart and clean out and stuff like that. So uh, for now I'm just using the three jaw that's with it. Uh, I know the four would probably be better for this sort of thing, but sometimes you just have to work with what you got.
I am uh, by no means a machinist, pretty much new to it. I just uh, like trying to do everything here. So I've been teaching myself a little bit of basic machining. I, uh, if you haven't followed, I restored this lathe last fall. Um, it did not look in this condition whatsoever. It took about three months. Um, the bones of it were really good. It just needed some TLC and I was happy to give it to it. I bought it at auction for $1,200, so I think it was worth the money. So as I said earlier in the video, um, this sleeve was problematic for me. Um, it started uh, at this point trying to drill some of these holes you'll see coming up. Um, the chuck started spinning on its taper, um, which I had to, there was some oil that found its way in there. I had to kind of clean both those tapers out. Um, and then the bit started to find a bit of a hard spot and, and chatter, which it hadn't done previously. So um, it, it was sort of a precursor of the things to come. I, I wound up chasing that chatter for quite a while in the boring phase, which again, I had just made this part previously and you know only screwed it up to myself going over dimension um, and didn't run into any of these kind of issues. So um, I did that one off camera and uh, it's true, I guess, somehow when you are doing things on camera, um, <laughs> the problems seem to show. So, yeah, I got it all uh, taken care of, as you'll see coming up. All right, clean things up real quick here a little bit. I'm going to swap out for the boring bar, get check that it's not going to bind going through here.
move that for you guys. Oh, okay. It should work out. All right, let's try a quick pass here and see what happens. Cleaned up first, I guess. All right, well, this is where I started noticing some chatter coming into the uh, machining process. Um, I did machine a part before this and after it and didn't have any issues. So part of it, I think I'm chalking up to a bit of a funny spot in the material. But uh, being that I am fairly new to this, I just started using it as a way to figure out how to get rid of it. So ultimately, I did get rid of the chatter by increasing or decreasing the spindle RPM and increasing the feed rate to try and get out of that harmonic zone that was causing the chatter. But I was also just trying to pay attention to everything else, like the uh, cross slide and how tight everything was. I did find a bit of play in there, so I tightened things up a bit. Um, it was really a big learning curve for me. Um, I guess I got lucky the first time and everything went really well. Um, this time I did have some troubles which distracted me and I overshot uh, my dimension so that's what led me having to do it a fourth time but you know what it is what it is sometimes you just got to learn things the hard way and I'm pretty happy with the result and the knowledge I gained out of it so to me you know it could have been lost time but it really wasn't because I, I learned some things so I had fun and uh, I'm happy I got some parts made.
All right, well, that was a bit of a painful process. Um, of course, nothing goes the way you want when you're doing it on camera. And yeah, I know I should have retracted that bit before I pulled it out and put a spiral in there. But I'm on dimension and I really don't care about that. It's, uh, you can barely feel it. It's a minor, minor scratch. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we did it. There's the, uh, the sleeve. And just like that one, it is a really nice fit on there. No play. Um, I need to broach a keyway in it before I can put the faceplate on. But I think the goal will be to, uh, to make some faceplates here.